Hi my awesome friends! It is collaboration time and today's collaboration is Let Freedom Ring. So we were tasked to use the colors red, white, and blue in a setting of our own choosing, whether that be table, vignette, coffee, bar, whatever. We were just instructed to use those colors and to show our patriotism. So in this collaboration, we have five wonderful hosts and I would like to introduce them. Our first host of this collaboration is, one is Deborah Cabasa at Deborah Cabasa's Home Living. She does lots of home decor, table settings, cooking, cleaning, and she participates in lots of collaborations. And I really enjoy her content and I enjoy participating with her in her collaborations that she puts together. Our next host is Melissa from Buckeye Girls Wreaths and Things. And she too participates in a lot of collaborations. So I see her frequently on videos and I like her content. And you have to check her page out. She's got lots of great ideas. She does a lot of wreaths and she is very good at that. And she does very good explanation of how she puts them together. So I highly recommend you go over and check out Melissa's page. Our next host is J Mom Creations. And she does awesome as well. And this her name is Rosalind and she does a lot of um, home decor and um, she has some cooking as well. So you have to go check her out. She has a lot of different content and I really do like the way that she explains what she does and she just seems to be a very sweet and happy person. So you've got to go and check her out. I always enjoy I'm watching her videos and I get a lot of inspiration from her. So our next host is Precious from Mary Precious Jones Huntsville. She is also an inspiration. She's very positive, upbeat, and she does a lot of different content as well. I do see her a lot on our collaborations, so it's always nice to collaborate with another great creator. So don't go, don't miss going over to her page. She's got a lot of good content as well. And our next host is Penny from At Penny's Place. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. I love her. Um, she does a lot of um, uh, cleaning, decluttering. She does a lot of home decor. She's got some budgeting ideas. Um, and I do love her tablescapes as well. So you need to go and check her out. Again, she is the sweetest lady and she has great content. So now that I've introduced you to the host of this collaboration, collaboration, let's see what I put together. So I don't show it in the picture, but I just started with a blank white piece of fabric and I put that um, DIY wreath there and here I am showing you some bunting flags that I got from my friend Anna Lee and I'm going to display them as you see I have them hanging they're a little long so I had to loop um, them in between one of them fell off so I've got to fix it. I just put a little piece of tape behind it and then just simply stuck it up there. This cabinet's still under construction so there's a lot of raw wood so I try to hide it um, by putting just a piece of um, white fabric there. So that's the first step. Then here is a beautiful plate with stars on it. It's wood, it's super heavy. Um, and I also got these from Annalie, and I just like the colors of this. It's a muted color, not really bright. And I'm just going to place that there. And here comes another one. And this one is in a little tan color, and that looks pretty good there. So 
and I've got them both sitting there and I have this little wooden crate um, that I thought maybe would be helpful to add some height so I'm placing that and here it is with the two plates in between I'm not sure about that color I was gonna place it um, you know just laying flat but it I ran out of room to put the other item I wanted to so the only option was to put it on its side so that's what I did and here it is and next I have my Mackenzie Child's clock um, I love that blue color and I like the combination of the check and the polka dots and I thought the blue would look good so there I placed my blue clock and the mantles looking pretty good I don't know about mantle but my little nook and then next we're going to incorporate a little bit of height so I have this little candlestick got it from the 99 cent store it was a dollar 99 around Christmas time and again it's not a white it's like a creamy so I placed that there so I can put my next item which is ah Uncle Sam little box isn't that cute Annalie made that um, she added all of those um, ribbons and a little um, Uncle Sam on the top and what screams more Americana than Uncle Sam <laughs> All right, so that's looking pretty good. So let's see what's the next item that I apply to my, oh, look at that, American. Uh, it's kind of like a bunting flag, but it is metal. And I have two of them, but I only need one right now. I had put that string on the back because I was gonna hang it. Um, but in this case, I'm putting it there. And then here is some flowers that I wanna add to my little vignette area and here I've added one here by the clock and I have another one that I'm going to add to the other side because we want to make it cohesive on each side I just love those little like berry looking um, things and they're all they're in red white and blue so that's keeping with my theme and it's not too colorful I think it's just perfect then my next item is my favorite oh look at this little hat horse <laughs> and it says America on it and I just love it because it's got um, the tail and the mane is made out of rags and it's just it's just precious I think it looks really good in that area what do you guys think and do you see what I'm talking about I needed something to raise that up um, so I could place my um, little rocking horse on there there it is that's so cute so then the next item I'm gonna add is this little um, votive candle holder but then I put a little rose in there and I put an American flag in the middle just to tie it all together so I place that right next to my little horse and that looks pretty good so I'm very happy with it however I don't like seeing that box behind so I thought how about if I change it up so I remove those items and I found something new to use. It is a wine box and um, you can put two bottles of wine in there but I thought it would be the perfect height and then you wouldn't be able to see um, behind it once I put my American um, flag, bunting flag and sure enough it was perfect. Um, so I prefer that choice. Um, let me know which one you liked better. So thank you for coming by and seeing how I put my little area together. Show you a little glimpse of what's underneath. I didn't finish it, but um, here's just some still pictures of um, how I put, I was starting to put the bottom part together and eventually I'll have the whole um, cabinet done. It's a little blurry picture. But anyways, um, thank you for stopping by and don't forget to go and check out the rest of the playlist and see all of the rest of the creators, what they put together for um, Let Freedom Ring 
collaboration. If you're not already subscribing to this channel, please consider I'm trying to grow this channel so that I can put more DIY content up. Um, it does take a lot of time, so I just want to make sure that I have a good following before I um, put a lot of um, DIYs up, um, you know, more consistently. But thank you again for stopping by. I do appreciate um, my current followers. I appreciate your support. And if again, if you're not already following, please consider hit that subscribe button and the bell so that way you'll be notified when I put a new video up. Thank you again and have a blessed day.